hello boys and beauties welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to see you again i'm so excited guys today we will be taming this head once again this is another tutorial another hair tutorial i don't know why i'm dancing like that in the background because that is not the music that is playing so never mind that so today we will be doing a blunt cut bob side part bob leave out today so let's get right into it Alrighty, so I already went ahead and sectioned off my hair and I left a little bit of my leave out. I'm going to go ahead and speed up my braiding pattern because I did that in a previous video already. So be sure to check that out. Alrighty guys, so here is what my braids look like braided down. I only did about five or six, I can't remember. Um, but this is essentially what you want your braids to look like. So now for my cap, I did not have a black cap. I had to use my, my new cap. The hair store was already closed, but I just went ahead and I glued the tracks around the leave out. I went ahead and marked my leave out. Um, so that I wouldn't, you know, accidentally glue anything that I was going to have cover my tracks. So the next thing that you want to do is cut um, your cap. And you want to be very careful doing that. So I'm just going to let you guys watch to see how I cut my cap. Because I know the last Bob tutorial, I did not show you guys how to do that. So go ahead and pay attention. guys so i went ahead and i cut all of the cap that i could possibly cut that would be seen and kind of distracting for other people that would probably be looking at my hair so now i'm just putting my hair into different sections and now i'm preparing to cut my hair so i thought it would be cute to do like a little eight symmetric bob so this side my right side um is going to be a little bit shorter than my left side so you don't want to cut too much hair like if you want a blunt cut bob you want to make sure that you cut evenly and, and straight but because i want to have like that razor kind of layered look in the back i am cutting my bob going in a downward downward motion um like right behind my ear 
So you want to be very careful doing this, okay? And um, like the little part that has the rubber band, that's my leave out. So I'll be able to like put that behind my ear. So you want to be really careful doing that. So I'm just going to let you guys watch to see um, how I cut the remainder part of my hair. So I am cutting the back of my hair. So usually when I try to cut the back of my hair, I try to make sure either my left side or my right side is already cut. Um, so I usually just guide the scissors with my fingers as well as um, make sure it's level to what I've already cut. So as you see, I do not have all of my hair down in the back. I have my hair section off that way it'll be in a in a nice asymmetrical cut so you definitely want to be careful with that and if this is your first time cutting your own bob I would highly recommend you use a mirror that way you can see the back of your hair or also have someone assist you I don't want anyone to get hurt while doing this process Alrighty, so since I have a good feel going on with how the back of my hair is cut, I'm just taking a few pieces and I'm just cutting it. That way I can have like that layer effect once I use the flat irons. Um, I know it looks a little choppy right now. Um, I'm going to go back and just fix that. As you see, I put the rest of the hair down. And so now I'm just cutting it into that layer effect. That way when the back of my bob is bumped, it'll look layered and natural. Alrighty, so boys and beauties, as you see, the bob is coming along really, really cute. I'm on my left side now, and as you see, I'm cutting in an upward motion. Um, this is just basically helping me guide the hair that I've already cut already to make sure that it is even. The more you guys see me cut, the more you guys are able to see the asymmetrical cut that I have, okay? So sometimes it may be off a little bit. As you see, it's coming along. It looks really good and it looks so natural. This is the look that I was going for. But I know you guys can see it's a few hairs in the back right there. So I'm just going to tilt my head over so that way I can see the full line of the hair. And then I'm just going to chop that off. You want to be very careful doing that. But essentially, this is what you would want your bob to be cut like if this is the bob that you're going for. Now, I absolutely love this. Um, so just continue to watch until the end and then you'll see it all come together. I'm loving my hair. Like I honestly could say this is one of the best bobs <laughs> that I've done on myself in quite some time. Um, so I know I stated earlier in the video that I did want like a layered look So now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just cutting in a downward motion um, To give it that layer effect This makes it look so natural and it doesn't make the hair look like it's packed hair It like give, it gives it like this layered look that I'm like loving right now So now I'm just gonna just fix it up a little bit cut everything to make it look more neater and now i'm just gonna grab my flowers and get busy so stay tuned
I absolutely love my hair. This is exactly how I wanted it to come out. Like, look at that cut. Yes, ma'am. Give them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes. Look at that length. What? Look at those layers, y'all. This that looks just like my hair. My hair looks so good. This is exactly what i wanted i hope you guys love the video i hope you guys love my hair do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you later bye